Let's write the balance net ionic equation for zinc plus FeCl3. So we have our zinc, solid zinc, and then we have iron 3 chloride. So the first thing we need to do when we write a net ionic equation, we have to balance that molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. So I think I'm going to put a 2 here. That'll give me an even number of these chloride ions here. So 2 irons, I can fix that. 2 times 3 is 6 of the chlorides. Put a 3 here. 3 times 2 is 6. Those are balanced. And then 3 zinc right there. So that's the balanced molecular equation. If you need that done a little slower, there's a link at the end of this video. Now we can write the state for each substance. That looks like this. So both the zinc and iron, they're solids. They're just metals. And then chloride's very soluble. So iron 3 chloride here and the zinc chloride here, they're both soluble. So we put aqueous. Now we'll split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. And that looks like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. Once we have this, we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. I can see in the reactants here, I have, it looks just like these six chloride ions here in the reactants and again in the products. These are the spectator ions. We're going to cross these out. Everything else is unique. So this is the net ionic equation for Zn plus FeCl3. Let me clean it up, write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the net ionic equation for zinc plus iron 3 chloride. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have 2 times 3 plus in the reactants. That's 6 plus. Then we have 3 times 2 plus. That's 6 plus. So charge is the same on both sides. And if you count the atoms up, they're balanced too. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for Zn plus FeCl3. Thanks for watching.